So that's why that happened, because that one source collar was broken. Neat. I think the lady that exploded and killed everyone she, was that yeah. crazy lady at the beginning. Oh, Wendigo? Yeah. Yeah. But there was that also that uh, broken source collar, so it was like making more source magic or something, maybe. I don't know. Don't know. This is neat. <laughs> I wonder if we leveled from coming out of that. That'd be close. I did fight an extra. Those two almost dead guys. I've never fought them before. Uh, That's we're so wet. Way out of it. <laughs> oh man. So, the order's right about one thing. We attract Void Woken. No telling if there are more ashore. And I doubt that that voice will save any of us again. Let's go talk to the kid. <laughs> Activate this portal too. Any man who put his likeness in stone is a fool in my book. Hey kid! The child has a small mirror in his hands. He holds it up at angles, inspecting his eyes, his chin, the crown of his head. He spots you and his arms snap to his sides. I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. Are you a sorcerer? One of those guys that brings the bad void things here. The child screws up his face and looks at his <laughs> Screws up its face. He lifts his screws up, up his, his nose, face. Closes Just one bashes eye, it on a rock. <laughs> I don't see any sauce on you or me. He sounds like he has a stuffed nose. I guess they're wrong or crazy. Well, that's just a... yeah. <laughs> No one cares where I go. They know I can't leave the island. It's nicer out here than inside, anyway. They're gone now. Their Majesties took them already. I guess now they're cured. And maybe they're waiting for me back at home. But you didn't die. I guess I am. Gosh. But it's just normal to be yeah. scared. Nowhere isn't scary. There isn't anywhere safer. That's what I mean. You'll see. Alright, thanks, kid. Help us get these collars off. <laughs> yeah, right. Can I use your face to screw up my collar? <laughs> he hasn't checked bash in there. Oh, right. Ooh, let's go kill these Boy, guys. Look. Those are the same things. Damn, they've made it to shore. You, I know you. Oh, God, it's talking to me. Yeah, that's uh, that's weird. That's a little unsettling. Gross. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Soul bond. What's that mean? He's like a part of you, maybe, or something. Whoa! Vitality, damage, physical armor, and magical armor increased by summoning ability of the master. Oh, master. that makes them stronger. Okay, that's cool. Faster, stronger. Where am I? For you. So far away. Ah! Ow. It's cool that he has his own, like, magic resistance and stuff. Yeah. Get him. I'm gonna flank him for you. There you go. There we go. Oh, nice. cool. It comes with attack of opportunity. Can I 
make it. Nope. Was, ah! Nice. I'm here. Ooh, I Don't worry. Nice work. <laughs> Ow, that took half his life. Ow! You almost killed him. Stare at the slain beasts and comment that they must have been the cause of the shipwreck. They're just animals easy enough to euthanize. They didn't put up much of a fight. Dry land mustn't suit them. The face is familiar. What's left of it? He was aboard the ship. What's left of it? They were gnawing in space. Oh, it's cool how those disappear. Oh, if there's uh, puddles of blood. Uh, never mind, I don't have that move yet. That's my next Leech? Question. Yeah. I yeah. Like that one. But I wanted to try this other one, so. Oh, is it the one uh, consume blood or whatever? Yeah, you stand under it and gives you back life. Like that's so do cool. For, like partners too. It's so nice. Oh, that's rad. I found a sharp rock. Back so up. <laughs> oh god. Oh, we're gonna have to find a shovel soon. Yeah, have yeah. to talk to this. I think there's one coming up. Do we have to? Yes. Ignore him. This again. Just tell him to leave us alone. Ugh. You spot a strange lizard gazing over the water with a steady, malcontent stare. His yes, you recognize him from the ship. I'm not going to talk. It would seem you're not the only bag. one who yeah. <laughs> the tentacles of the deep. Oh, I could say I have a bone to pick with him. That's funny. And slug him. The lizard turns about with the graceful ease of a dancer. That would be awesome if you could pick duelist. a fight. I'd help you, you beat the right. <laughs> Two smoldering embers that sizzle your very... Yes, I imagine you do. You're made of sterner stuff than I first gave you credit for. That's right, Chances compliment are, me. I wouldn't have survived the shipwreck. Had you not returned to the aid of your fellow passengers... Hey! He's actually hole. being a decent person. You have my wow. gratitude. Hand over heart, he salutes you with a bob of the head. More than a nod, though less than a bow. Yes, I'm sure you've all the makings of a hero and all that, but let's not get carried away, shall we? Now then, if there's nothing further, I'm sure I don't mean to sound condescending, but I had thought it quite self-evident I was gazing out over the wave. He sighs, dramatic. Tell me, what do you see when you cast your glance over this ocean? Touché. He looks out over the water once more, and so do you. A few tranquil moments pass as the waves lap against your thoughts. As for myself, when I consider this vast expanse before us, I see an empire. I see an continents empire. dotted with mighty cities. And shimmering along the soft curve of the sea's horizon, I picture the palaces that formed my paradise. Lost. Of course, it's rather specific. Quite obviously, I'm musing over the very actual empire that I lost. Suddenly, having all the air of being deeply offended, he stares at you with utter incredulity. Well, don't just stand there gawking like an ape at an abacus. Or do you really mean to tell me you don't know who I am? Yeah, no idea who you are. Well, more's the damn pity, isn't it? For I am the Red Prince, the All-Conqueror. The world tamer. The spouse of the sun. Of course you know me. There's a brief moment's pause, during which his grandiloquent pose deflates ever so slightly. That said, I suppose I must own up to the fact that I find myself rather in between all conquering and world He talks so much. At the, moment. the grandeur that is my Pretty fate much. has uh, hit a bit of a snag. But never you worry. For the throne I was destined 
and my throne I shall have. Then blah, by all blah, means, blah. dash. He watches you depart without another word, then turns back to face the sea. Uh, A black cat. I should have said join us. Luck is about to change. And then we could drop him later. Because I don't know what happens if you don't pick him up. Hey, cat! The Nothing. cat's eyes are clouded and gray, but it's not think to anything if you its don't. Eyes clear, we're gonna get the two people we want. Yes, I'm still here. Then by all means. He watches yeah, you. we'll come back after we get the people we want. I think it's a good idea. Alright, I see you. Come in. Although, actually, you know what? I am going to pick him up right now, because he can dig. Then we well, don't need a shovel. Well, I was just going to figure if we find a shovel real quick. Yes, I'm still here. Hopefully. Come with There's us. There's usually one oh, laying around. I on whatever. one for reasons. I'll, I've reason to believe one of them may be present on this island. Promise me. Jolly good. So, now that that's settled, first things, even if you are as versed in the art of eloquence as I am, that our swords will be doing a lot of... As a born fighter, I prefer the perfection of the blade myself. But I'm well acquainted with the secrets of magic and, yes, even subterfuge. What say you? Secret tunnel. Well. Yeah, let's Wizardry make him a wizard. Wizardry is embedded in my nature as deeply <laughs> as the instincts to well, breathe I and drink and, and make. Alright, we'll be right over to fire me. Suits me. I was best, just wondering, you know. Told, you found a there is no school of magic I cannot master. Very well. Onwards the, the Red Prince nods and gives you a smile that wavers ever so delicately. Now, as you're aware, you'll be traveling with a prince. Oh, we did. Level Proper up. forms of address include your majesty, your royal highness, awesome. or if you're feeling particularly frivolous, as your luck would have it. I seem to be fresh out of luggage, so you won't be required to carry my belongings. Of course, there are other forms of protocol to bear in mind, but I'll see to it. You'll pick up the rest as we go. So, without further ado, let us be off. Yes, let us. Huzzah. Oh, we gotta level up. Forgot about that. Yeah. Oh, I need to give the staff I saw. Coming over here, or are we? Yeah, I'm coming slowly. Oh, okay. Okay. This way. I have a cat following me. Oh, I see it. Right. I need to dig here. Yeah, yeah. Go away. 
Mr. Prince man. One must put in due effort if one is to reap the proper reward. Oh god. A dusty pouch. Has a bow. Wow, that's a good bow. Dang it, we don't have a bow person. Can we make Sybil one? Here, you can... I'm gonna give this to you since you found it. It was a armor. It's Bane! What? Oh, I thought that was you! No! Hey, I'm buddy! I'm a skeleton unlike any you have ever seen before. His skull seems to be carved into intricate patterns with a gemstone sitting in the middle of his forehead. Approaching, you hear a profane rumble from the undead beast. Bugger. Uh. How on earth am I supposed to... Oh. Perhaps? Skeletal fingers reach down and grip the skin of the dead man's face, pulling sharply upwards. After a few more tugs at the man's cheeks, the skeleton relents, letting the head drop to the ground with a damp thud. <laughs> <laughs> Damnation. That stuck fast. I wonder, does the beard act as some form of anchor? <laughs> <laughs> ah! No! Stay back! Don't... Actually... You don't seem half as threatening as those creatures in red. Run along, won't you? I have business to attend to. Why, it's face, of course. What other use would I have for some rotting corpse? A face that seems rather stubbornly attached to his skull. <laughs> I love this guy. <laughs> I would normally right. employ a tool to delicately but viciously rip the face from the body. I will I could give then you craft a dagger. A mask to hide my bone. But, as I lack such a tool... The skeleton grabs the corpse by the cheeks and pulls hard, grunting in frustration <laughs> as the body's skin holds firm. Because my own was stolen from me! And the idea of being chased across the river lawn by every idiot with a torch does not appeal! Oh, get away! Monster! Hide the children! I love him! Oh, man! You are simple beasts. And you simply do not like my... Well, not my kind, but those that look like me. So, if I am to traverse this land, I will need a mask to disguise my features. Oh, please. It is far too complicated. It requires more finesse than can be achieved by a rock tied to a stick. Which, I assume, is your oeuvre. No, but once I have extracted the required material from this specimen, it will all be rather simple. <laughs> and then I can return to finding my people. I cannot be the last Eternal, but the rest of them are somewhat absent. That's a cool name for him. Eternal. At least from this realm. As for the others, well... There is an excavation site at the Black Pit's oil fields. Uh, perhaps there I'll find my answers. A cult? Hardly. We were a race that existed before the idea of race was needed. We were all one. I could ask you to imagine an Eternal as a creature of incredible intelligence and skill. But I fear the limits of your imagination would not do us justice. We studied the mysteries of the universe. We created works of great art. We... We disappeared. But I will find them. Wherever they are, I will find them. We will have our world again. Ah, well, that is the curious thing. They are clearly absent from this world, and yet they are everywhere. Every one of your races resembles them in some manner. And the statues you have built to your gods look remarkably familiar. Perhaps my people have ascended to some new realm. Or perhaps your gods are merely a folk memory. Regardless, they are not here. But I will find them. 
wherever they are, I will find them. I suppose, circumstances being what they are, it could be advantageous. You seem more at ease in this world than I. A guide would certainly be useful. Excellent. While we are conversing, perhaps you notice that I am rather skilled in, well, <laughs> all things. Of course, the arcane arts are my little speciality. But being a brilliant wizard does not mean I cannot handle blade or bow. So, which do you require for this enterprise of yours? I might have to take him other than Sybil. He's funny. Unless you want him. No, you can take him, man. It's all yours. Are you getting Losa? Is that who you're going for? I'm going to get Losi. Okay. Yeah. I think I'm going to make her a witch, so. Alright, let's see. I don't know what their racials are. The undead guys. I have no clue. Oh, he sounds funny. Seems like some kind of arcane art, kind of. Maybe a battle mage or something. He's got two wicked blades or something. Yeah, those things look sweet. I could do that with one hand behind my spine. Now, splendid. Very well. Let's be off. All right, Red Prince, go away. Wait a minute. How do we make him go away? Go away. <laughs> yes. Is it an audience you desire? Here you go. Go away. Are you certain you want to dismiss your companion? Your loss. Bye. Jump. Oh, I should have stole this shit. Damn it. <clears throat> Careful, there's poison up there. <laughs> hey, he's following you. You hear a small whimpering sound from behind a basket. You peer behind it and find a small human child holding her knees and trembling. The child quiets and seems comforted by your presence. She looks up at you with curious eyes. There are monsters here. Lizard ones and real ones. It's really scary. And I miss my ma and pa. Master was a lizard. She sent us here. Me. Ma and Pa. She was not a nice lady. Lizards aren't nice ladies. It's their fault I'll never see Ma and Pa again. How do you know? Her eyes lock with yours for a moment. She places her... Oh, I need to rest. Did I steal something on accident? God damn it. <laughs> okay. Oh, I didn't. But I got asked if <laughs> she could search my bags. You know what would really suck is if that happened and they put it in the game where they would actually steal something of yours instead. That'd be kind of jacked up. Yeah, yeah that would be. What's Fane got around his Is head? Not enough that you travel with me. Yeah, probably a on, then. Bark away. mask to hide Let's it. See if we can oh, is that what that is? Okay. Uh, yeah. Turtle time! Oh no, they will fight us. Yeah, I know. If we can't talk to them. Oh god. I'm not gonna- I'm stealing this food. We'll come back later. Yeah. When we actually have some decent weapons. Are you wanting to steal her shit? No. Okay. Yeah, she doesn't have anything worth stealing. She didn't have anything, uh oh. Hi, cat. Uh, uh. If I was smart, I would have used the dragon to kill that poison. But I'm not the smart. There we go. Oh, I need this. Frickin' Yarrow Flower. Yeah. 
A fish bone. Holy crap. Oh, there's a kid over here. Junk. Where are you going, kid? Hey, mister. It's a lot nicer here than that stinking... Sure wish more of us could have been... So... I did see one of them ringing out their tunic at the shore a few hours ago, so I guess I never want to step foot on a stuffy old ever again. You trying to get that bottle thing over there? Try, I can't reach without the gloves. Yep. I love those gloves so much. Yeah, those, it's like, nope, those stay in my oh, thing I'm, also. Oh yeah, Dallas the Hammer. That's such a cool name. We know you've been helping sorcerers escape, Atusa. We have proof. I'd sooner cut my tongue out than lie to you, Alexander. I know nothing of any escapees. If you can tell the Godwoken no more, your tongue is of no use. Cut it out. This can't be serious, Alexander. Come! You should know by now to obey your superior, Magister. Whatever she may ask. Stay silent, you! <laughs> Atusa pinches the tip of her tongue with two fingers and brings her dagger to its root. Her eyes squeeze shut. Drops of blood... Stop! My father, may his soul rest in peace, would be disappointed in you, Atusa. To think you would lie to his only son. The fate of our realm hangs in the balance. Dallas? Yes, your holiness. I... believe we're done here. We'll the Lizard over. Magister, or what's left of her, lies in a puddle of gore. There's one Magister fewer for us to worry about. These creatures are so prone to violence, naturally, the weaker specimens suffer. Where is he? Oh, cool. Elf can eat the limbs and learn their paths. Yeah. Neat. If you uh, eat a head, you can learn a power. Neat. I find I need bread. I want no trouble. Bread or brisket. There she is. Straight to her, huh? <laughs> yep. Pathetic. Oh, dude. I have to try it. You filthy cunt, you are. <laughs> that was awesome. That's hilarious. Disgusting like threat. Hey, get up. There you go. That's funny. Great God. Will you quit dragging this on? Clean that hard, Lexi. Just hand over the gold. I will not. Oh, these people are picking a fight over here, so when you're done, yeah. we'll have to mess Hang them on. up. I'll be here one second. You're fine. I heard the same thing. Do you know what this means? It means I'm not the only. Losa's voice catches in her throat. The joy drains from her face. She is stock still, waxy skinned, her eyes dark. Grayish black, her head snaps to.
It does, right? Before we head out, I've got more than a few tricks up my sleeve. Lately, I've been into the enchanting arts, but I can shoot, slash, summon. Don't know if you could tell, but mysticism's kind of my speciality. Let's get into the nitty gritty while we're at it. What sort of sounds fine? So we're good to go? Yeah? Well, that was easier than I thought. And I All right, we have a witch now. Cool. Oh, uh, I didn't mean to take up my weapon. Put it away. <laughs> hey, Pox, uh, you're picking on this lady for. This is not your business, Long Pig. Long Pig. Don't let this moss muncher talk to you like that. Especially a cheapskate. Like, pay up, hell. No one shorts Griff. Especially not one of you. Everyone in camp's got to contribute. For food, for protection. Food? Protection? I have neither. You two ought to be thanking your lucky gods it's us, and not the magisters enforcing round here. A fool never knows what it's got till it's what. Now come on, Elf. If you make me say it again, there's gonna be trouble. Why, keep the yes. out of, them. of course I am. All my life. Hello, D. Oh, would. He shifts uncomfortably. Oh, this is cool. I never see this ah, one. Get out of here, will ya? You ain't worth my time. Neither are you. <laughs> the elf smiles and bows to you in thanks. Too many people here. For Follow me. Do anything. Before more of them trouble us. Whoa! I have never seen this one. This is awesome. This is a safe place. That's cool. It she, works. She's probably just gonna lead us to the cave, huh? I have no idea. Yeah, let's go do this lady quest real quick because it's like two seconds. Talk to this grumpy old man. I can't hear himself think with all this racket. Day and night she hollers after that child. Yeah, that Farah. You gotta cut that out. What's happened to you? I seen his help, but none I can give. Mad as a cuckoo, that one. And twice as loud. Distraught don't even begin to cover it. She's hollering after that child of hers. Killed by a void white when she was. Been dead and buried for a month now. Never even stepped foot in Fort Joy. And there ain't no amount of hollering that'll bring her back. Please. Please. You must help me. No one here will help me. Not one of these bastards. A child is missing. My babe, oh, bless you, bless you. She's been missing for days now, and not a single soul will help me look for her. Irma's her name. She's about as high as your hip. Black of hair, a quiet child. Not, I'm sick with worry, completely sick. And no one in this damn camp will lift a finger to help me find her. I last saw her just here, near three days ago. She was playing with her little doll, and I was washing out her tunic. I turned from her for one moment, and she was gone. Left her doll behind, too. It's so unlike her. This place turns people cold. Cold and wicked. That fellow Jeth over there speaks unutterable evil, but I can't move away from him. What if Irma comes back and I'm not here? Yes, of course. Here, you should take it with you. When you find her, give her the doll and tell her Mummy says this. She soaks up a steady stream. She ought to come with you then. She ought to follow you back to me. You are an aim. Irma? Ah, oh, you're back. Please. Did you find Irma? She still hasn't returned. You've been talking to that snake, Jeff, haven't you? I don't know where he gets these obscure. You stay away from that man. Do you hear me? Irma isn't 